Only on nine, thieves caught on camera making off with irreplaceable family heirlooms in Beverly Wood. And this might not be the first time, the first home they've hit. Yeah, the two broke into a house and then took off with a safe. KCO 9's Chef Nguyen is live in Sawtell tonight with a security video and the suspect's similarities in this exclusive story tonight. Jeff? Jeff and Suzanne, the watch commander at this police station told us that his officers will head out on burglary calls multiple times a day. And the crooks typically wear gloves and they'll have their hoodies drawn tightly. A dog barked helplessly as two men walked out of a Beverly Wood home with Maria Tafar's safe. I was disgusted. I was infuriated. I was angry. A security camera captured the crooks in hooded sweatshirts breaking in through a kitchen window that wasn't connected to the alarm system. It only sounded off after the front door was opened during the getaway. They figured out how to break it with the least amount of noise. It started with this guy with sagging pants knocking on the front door last Friday. When he realized only the dog was home, he got on the phone and then he and his partners went to work. The MO is similar to this burglary we covered last month in the Pico Robertson area. When we put these pictures of these guys in black hoodies side by side, they appear to match up. The victims in both cases believe the same men broke into their homes. It just, you know, the way they walk. We want to give you a good look at this man in the gray hoodie. This freeze frame is a clear shot of his face. Tafar says her safe contained jewelry that her late father gave to her late mother. She doesn't think the loss of family heirlooms will mean anything to the crooks, but she's hoping she can appeal to their mothers or anyone who might know them. How would you feel if your precious memories were taken and may never see again. And the victims in both cases told us that a third man would sit outside in the getaway car to help them run out of there as soon as they made off with the loot. Now back to you. Jeff Nguyen reporting live tonight.